Come take a look at the newest release from Creature Caster, The Lady of Anguish. I can bits. What's happening, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Rob Bear. And today we're going to take a closer look at our pre release copy of The Lady of Anguish. Now, here you can see about how tall it is. Didn't put the wings on or the weapon options because, again, we do some of those giveaways over on Twitch. Win it before you can buy it. But this should give you a pretty good idea of how it looks and just how tall it is. It's a really interesting type miniature and I can definitely appreciate the direction they took with this, but I feel like for some of you, this might not be your cup of tea. And here she is, the Lady of Anguish. I know you can't tell what it is. I actually didn't know what it was either when it came in the mail. Creature Caster was like, hey, we're sending you something special. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> then I got it and I was like, what? <laughs> Why? But here she is, the newest lady miniature, or I guess the newest miniature in the lady series from Creature Caster here. You can see she's got a ton of parts. Again, it's about $58 miniature from Creature Caster, of course, with all of the great detail, actually more detail than what you would expect and what we've seen in the past, at least from them. So here you can see crazy amount of mushrooms and rock formations all sorts of fungi that i'm not familiar with i'm not a shroomologist i don't know what these things are but they look pretty dope there's where her little hoofy feet go of course so again the detail on this incredible i mean you can see right here like all of the intricate there's even like an underlying kind of fae, little fairy type whimsical designs actually etched in the wings underneath the veins. And then of course all the cutouts here that big enough to s still support weight and things like that. This is more of a, and then little spikes in different areas here. There's the other one that goes on there. So it's more like a, Kind of almost like a demon mothra, a demon butterfly almost for the most part there. It's very, very interesting to say the least. <laughs> so those parts aside, and then of course you get to the rest of the parts. Now the legs are going to go on, and of course we're going to assemble this here in a second. So you've got your legs, you've got your arms, two sets of hand weapons. You've got these punchy thingies and these scythes, but I mean the detail on this is just incredible once you start thinking about how big that is and all of the cut-ins and things that are actually on it i mean here i'll grab my grab my scale just to give you an idea of exactly how big that detail work is it's incredible like the amount of detail in that small of a miniature is just phen phenomenal and here's some punch spikes knuckle knuckle punch spikes and you can just see all that crazy razor edge and everything in there is amazing it's just amazing detail but you've got all that you got the great detail they're always bringing the heat with this new and exciting uh, kind of process or whatever they're doing they put out the pre-orders early you know people can get them and then they'll go out for general release months later kind of building up a little bit of a hype I can uh, definitely appreciate that now when we get to the model itself it's gonna have a set of uh, the normal normal-ish arms here that's gonna attach together I actually don't know oh this is the this is the legs right I actually don't know what this is yes 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 I don't know I'll we'll have to figure that one out together once we get this bad boy put together so you've got the backwards legs no that can't be the legs because the legs go right there I actually don't know what this is I guess this is an arm Dun, dun, dun. So we've got these two different sets of arms. I guess that's what that is. Okay. So it's a forearm. Okay. There we go. So it's a forearm. Makes more sense. All right. So we got the two. The so the set of arms is the same, and then you can switch out the weapon arms, and then of course you've got all these distended bowels and things. And I mean, even these are incredibly well detailed, like all of the depth and everything all the bunches and there's little polyps and all sorts of craziness on them. I love it. It's absolutely incredible the amount of detail work they did here and you got the two different 
sets of heads. You got this kind of conch shell kind of looking head, and then it's like more of a Pan's Labyrinth kind of demon looking head thing right here. Very cool stuff. And then the, the horns here will go on this. So we're going to glue all that together. And then we get to the main body. And the main body, well, it's a little confusing. And I suppose when we look at it on the computer, I'm not an art critic, so I can't really give you a lot of... Um, I guess I really don't have a cat in this fight as far as the design aesthetic goes. But to me... It just seems like everything is very rotten and decayed, except for her chest area, which, let's face it, <laughs> her chest is sculpted very well, but I feel like it doesn't really play here on this particular miniature, although the face is still not really, you know, it's more like porcelain doll, depending on what you want to do, it's, it's highly detailed, it's not decayed either, so I can't say it's not out of the realm of possibility, but I feel like it's not... They took a little bit of artistic risk here, I feel like, with this miniature. But overall, the aesthetic is good. But early on, it seems like they caught a little flack over that. And like like I said, if you like this miniature, if it speaks to you, it's for you. Don't let us tell you anything else. But I just feel like maybe that should be a little different. But again, this is art. <laughs> And that is definitely going out on a limb, so to speak, on your design, which you can do with art when, you, when you're putting out, you know, so many releases and so many things right there. So I don't fault them for it. I just feel like it seems a little out of place on the particular miniature. And that's just for me, just taking a look at it. I couldn't tell you why. I couldn't really explain it why. I can't give you any actual physical, scientific or um, schooling on it as to why. I just particularly don't prefer the chest on this miniature. I think it should be a little bit more decay. That being said, don't let it cheapen the rest of the miniature. The detail work is probably the best we've seen so far from Creature Caster. And here she is, mostly completed. Use some blue tack to attach that head right there so it gives you an idea of exactly what's going on here and uh, with the feet as well. Now, with her wings, she will be a bit taller. She'll be about six inches tall give or take like we saw on their actual website and where speaking of wings <laughs> where exactly are her wings here they are just to give you an idea remember they lock in a certain way so you can't actually mess that up she can't get it out of the socket so there they are right there she is going to be that tall so a whimsical kind of Fay approach to the rotten decay that is growth and destruction both growth and destruction at the same time now this is a great little miniature but like i said a little bit on the edge artistic liberty wise i feel like and then this is the cool little bit with all the intestines that just locks in right there and just kind of free floats about i think that's pretty neat now we didn't attach all the weapons or the wings because generally we do a win it before you can buy it top D donator giveaway over on Twitch for these sort of things. So keep an eye out for more on that here coming soon, probably late November, early December for this model. Now it is up for pre-order right now over on creaturecaster.com. First 100 models, actual release models. So this is a pre-production model. So it's got a few little blemishes in it here or there but nothing uh, too bad. So let's go over and take a look at their site. And here she is, as promised, $74 Canadian. Of course, that's about $58 US. There you can get an idea of the colorized version of it, and you can see all that great detail up in the leg area, or the, the wing area up there on the right. And some better shots of her with the scythe right there. Now, if we come down and click at the parts, you can see there's the complete layout, which we already showed you, the two different heads, the two different sets of weapon arms, and then you got all the individual components there, not individual top arms. And here's a size comparison as well. There you go, well over six inches from the top of her wings on the right side of the figure. So like I said, Start shipping out on the 4th of December 
and it's limited strictly to 100 pre-orders of the release quality figure right there. So head on over to CreatureCaster.com, pick up yours today if this is your cup of tea. Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos. 